Hi friends. I was walking home from church yesterday and there was a group of about eight high school boys in front of me. I knew two of them, but they didn't know that I was following them. We got to the corner of Prospect and Broadway and the light was red to cross Prospect, but green to cross Broadway. So I turned to cross Broadway, and just a few steps into the street, I heard from behind me a chorus of, not cool, not cool. One of the boys had crossed Prospect Street on the red light, and the others remained on the corner, shouting louder and longer, not cool, not cool, until finally the light changed and they all crossed to the other side. And I smiled and thought to myself, now there's a good group of boys influencing each other to do what is right. They were using peer pressure in a positive way to influence each other to be safe, to follow the traffic signal and to obey the law. Peer pressure can be negative or positive. It influences the decisions we make, and not just for teenagers, but for all of us. We all experience peer pressure to some degree in our life, in our job or our neighborhood, on social media, or even in the church. And sometimes that pressure is overt and out loud, and sometimes it is subtle and understood. So I was thinking about ways that we as Christians can be a positive peer influence on the people in the world around us. Perhaps the easiest and most basic thing that we can do is to be a friend. A friend communicates welcome and acceptance. Friendship puts us in a position to share experiences with each other that create long-lasting, strong bonds. We can be a positive example in the kindness that we show to others, in the ways that we care for the environment, in our service to the needs of others, in our dedication to see things through, in our persistence in the face of obstacles, in our generosity and selflessness, we set good examples that inspire and encourage the people around us. Encouraging is another way that we can be a positive peer influence. We cheer each other on to accomplish goals big and small. We empathize with each other, especially when we've gone through something similar ourselves. We listen without judgment and we support without strings to help each other during difficult times or to make difficult decisions. And we give honest feedback about everything from the most flattering hairstyle to the decisions that seem reckless and risky. Now, I could go on and on, of course, but for today, my last suggestion for being a positive peer influence is to provide opportunities for new experiences. And maybe that's simply introducing someone to your favorite type of music. Maybe it's inviting someone to be part of a club or class or team. Maybe it's offering moral support for someone who's trying to do something new or outside of their comfort zone. Or maybe it's helping someone to see the world through eyes of faith. When we think about being a positive peer influence in terms of friendship, example, encouragement, and opportunities for something new, it's not scary and overwhelming. Instead, it's exciting, and it's part of the natural rhythm of faith and life. By the way, neither of the boys that I knew was the one who crossed the street on the red light. I was proud of that, and parents, you can be too. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again soon.